In my country a very important part of folklore are witches. Vampire women who transform into birds. To do this, we will create a pair of brushes, one for the texture and the other for the feather effect. For the first, we will use the pen of our preference. We will draw a straight line and erase the tips so that it is sharp. We will duplicate this form the number of times we want and separate what we consider appropriate from each other. Before creating the brush, let's not forget to convert the image we have created to grayscale or else it will not take the color we want. We will select the image and in the option register material we will change the name. We will click on the brush tip box and we will assign the folder where we want our new brush to be housed. We accept. Then we will place ourselves on the material we want to create, in my case a new pen. In the section with three bars I will click and import new existing material. I select the type of pen I want and it will make a new copy for me. I will change the name in order not to get confused. And then I will go to Subtool Properties where I will click on the tool icon. It will automatically open the dialog box where I can change the characteristics of the brush that I just created. To change it for the option that I have created, I only go to the brush tip, where I will click on material. A new window will open where I will search for the material that I have created by typing its name. I select it and accept it. Now the default shape of the brush has been changed. I can't trace on the canvas to see the modifications that I am making. I modify the thickness as I want it to look bigger and more separated. At an angle I click on follow direction of the line. In stroke the interval will be from 12 to 13. This brush will give us a texture effect reminiscent of children's stories. For the pens I will take another nib again and repeat the steps as with the first brush. Remember to test all the time. Again the angle will be the direction of the line. The interval will be greater since I want the feathers to be noticed. If it is smaller it will be a straight line and if it is greater it will separate our line. In correction I will remove the stroke refinement and the stabilization will be too since I want the texture of the pen to be very noticeable. In the case of long feathers, I will return to the brush tip and in flipping horizontally I will choose the option flip horizontally random. In this previously sketched image I will use the symmetry rule to save work. Supernatural creatures normally have these very sharp features, skin stuck to the bone that makes them look menacing. The witch's tale tells of birds with feminine features and mocking faces that chase people from the treetops. In my case I will use a gradient background and the main figure will have a pattern. I place the lighting and proceed with my texture brush to erase the patterns. Once finished I will proceed to use my bird feathered brush and take the wings of the birds as a reference. I will apply the brush strokes first the short feathers and then the long feathers, not forgetting to leave spaces between the feathers to notice each other.
fog is a big factor in these scenes whereby I take a cloud brush but as I wish the scene to be even more mysterious I will make a black fog and add light with a spiky texture brush. At the end I will add the light coming from behind. Our character with our created brushes and I will spread some black and white specks on the illustration to give it more emphasis.